Nolan, where are we? We are the Indian Cave. Indian Caves. We are at the Manitou Cliff Dwellings here in Manitou, Colorado. And we got here around four o'clock. The place. <coughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> go into that teepee over there. <laughs> but we're here to go look at these cliff dwellings, which are right behind me here. The sun is setting. It's starting to get a little bit colder. It's about 46 degrees Fahrenheit right now. But we're going to check out these cliff dwellings. <laughs> and Nolan's going to go, eh. Uh, he woke up from a nap, so he's a little loopy. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Now these cliff dwellings are actually a replica of the cliff dwellings that are found over in the Four Corners region of Colorado. And in 1906, a privately owned company brought all of these rocks from the area down there in the Four Corners region, put them on a train, brought them up here. They did map out exactly how these structures were built. And then when they brought them up here, they rebuilt them. Now, some of the rock is fake, but some of the rock is actually the rock from that region. And so there was a big controversy when they tried to open this up in 1906, saying it was the authentic cliff dwellings of the Pueblan Indian tribes of the Four Corners region. To this day, it is still owned by the same family that created it back in 1906. Virginia McClurg was the lady that was in charge of this whole Pueblan association. And when she tried to open this up, all of the people that said, no, that's not an authentic Pueblan village, dismantled the whole association. Be that as it may, it's still a really cool place to come and bring your kids and have them climb. I like the music they have going on here. And it's actually funny, I'm walking around and I think I have pictures of me and my cousins in these exact same windows. I know that we've been here as children before and my cousins used to live down here in Colorado Springs. So I'm pretty sure it's these, these windows here. Insert picture of us in cliff dwellings here. <laughs> So now it's funny, just by happenstance, we happen to be here with my son taking pictures in the same area. <laughs> and him doing <laughs> Inside the cliff dwellings, you're able to work your way through a maze of tunnels and passageways. Imagine what life must have been like living inside the carved rock, with no electricity and no running water. Displays are set up to give patrons an understanding of what the different rooms were used for including one ceremonial room called Akiva. This room was only accessible for men of the tribe, who would climb down a ladder into this smoke-filled room. As the sun was going down, we became the last people on the property. Nolan became increasingly worried that the Indians would soon return home and find us in their house, and probably shoot us with their arrows. You can't blame the kid, he has a very vivid imagination. You can actually hear the angst in his voice as he calls for me to follow him out of the caves. Dad, come on. Come on. Across the parking lot sits a Pueblo building that was erected at the turn of the century and demonstrates the architecture of the Taos Pueblo Indians of New Mexico. It's actually kind of cool that we're like the only people here right now. This structure became a home to many Native American families who would perform ceremonial dances to entertain the vast array of tourists who visited this site. These Native American families lived in this Pueblo house until late 1984. Over the years, the home has expanded into a museum below. It shows pottery and artifacts and memorabilia from decades of advertising and a pictorial history of the location. Now the facility has expanded to include a large souvenir shop, which offers a wide variety of Native American pottery, jewelry, artifacts, and toys. Well, we found the kids area of the store. Don't think we're getting out of here without a stuffy. Okay. Well, as I thought, we weren't going to get out of there without buying a stuffy. What stuffy did you get, Nolan? Wolfie. You got a wolfie! He also got a bag of cowboys and Indians, which I remember having as a kid and playing with constantly in my sandbox. Um, 
not culturally appropriate, but I bought it anyway, so he's gonna play with it. It was like seven bucks, so why not? Yeah. We're the last ones here. Uh, everyone's cleaning up. They did say that your ticket is good for 24 hours. So if you didn't see everything, uh, you could still come back and see the rest of it. Um, there, there was a lot down in the museum if you wanted to stop, read, see all the artifacts that they'd actually brought from different historical sites around uh, Colorado and the Four Corners region up here to Manitou. So good to know. But that'll do it from us here in Manitou Springs. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, we're gonna be doing lots more Daddy Nolan adventures all around Colorado. And uh, we're also doing 100 things to do with Dad. Uh, today was not technically one of them, but it was still an adventure nonetheless. So <coughs> say goodbye, Wolfie. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you.